I love those dreams where I'm a flying superhero. And now I'm getting to experience that feeling without sleeping through it. What was the goal with this? Our company, MindRide, we create experiences. Uh, and we're really interested in creating dynamic, mythic human experiences. So this is really an experience of the dream of flying. Um, somebody asked us, well, how realistic is it? And I started thinking, like, well, that's actually a difficult thing to ask, because who's ever flown with you know, free flight, just their body with no apparatus? Uh, so we're really going off of what you know, the feeling of a dream of flying would be like, or if you were a superhero what that would be like to fly. What I want you to do first is bend your knees and I want you to sit into the harness, feel it tighten up. Once you yep. feel it tighten up, you're going to tuck your knees in, let your feet go behind you, and just let your arms go. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, again, slow, faster, faster, faster. Full speed is all the way tucked in with your hands basically touching your hips. It's full okay. speed. Yep, you can turn at any speed. You don't have to be like at this medium speed. Got it. You can turn full or you can turn it slow. Um, and that's better. To get this on, I'm going to do a head calibration to get your head position set once you're you're ready. Here we go. Wow. Like right now it's a complete sense of floating without any of the thrust. And then as I bring my arms back, you can just feel the acceleration kick in. It gets a little scary when you fly at the mountains. You really get moving. Up, 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 up over the ridge. Turn along the ridge. Whoa. That is an experience. I deviated a little from the rolls and start to turn one way and look the other. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit, of, not nauseous, but the precursor to nausea. Yeah. It's the opposite of seasickness. Um, your inner ear is flat and static while your visual field is seeing the generated content moving all over the place. And so that creates uh, a conflict in your brain. So what are the, like, the different elements and the senses um, that you need to trick or control to make this experience happen? The first thing is just getting your feet off the ground. Getting into a harness is just fun. It just kind of is for most people. The next thing is obviously the visuals. And so we've created you know, a very sort of a basic landscape and there's different things to go and see and do inside of that landscape. Then there's also the feeling of when you are flying, there's obviously wind resistance and wind. Uh, and so we're using these, actually they're theatrical fans. They ramp, they go from slow to fast in a very, you know, they have a high acceleration point. And really feeling that wind actually gives you the feeling that you're propelling forward. One of these rigs is cool, but think of when they're networked all over the world. Instead of swiping left or right on Tinder, you could meet them flying. This is going to change the face of online dating forever.